Hey everyone, this is Mukesh Shotwani once again from learnhyphenation.com. This is going to be a very quick video, but very important. If you are working in automation and if you are working with a different automation tool, then definitely this small video can be a big help for all of you. So recently, Sanjay Kumar have introduced Chat GPT integration with Selectors Hub. I know many people are scared of Chat GPT and it is changing the world very drastically. But this time. We are going to take some advantage of this chat GPT feature, which is integrated with selectors hub and it can save a lot of time for you. So how it is going to help you. Let me show you a quick demo in case if you're using selectors hub, you can update to the latest version and you will get this feature. But in case if you're new to selectors hub, then I would recommend you to watch this video, which is coming on the screen so that you can understand what is selectors hub and how it can help you in finding locators and in multiple areas. In that video, I have listed many advantages of Selectors Hub. So please go ahead and watch. But in case you are new to this uh, channel, then make sure you subscribe this channel so that you get all these additional topics and the new trend and the new tools which is coming in the market. Yeah. So let me show you one quick demo. So right now I already have Selectors Hub installed in my browser. So you can see I have Selectors Hub and I'm using free version. So basically this feature is available in pro and free both as well. So you don't need to worry about it in case if you have pro it's good in case if you're using the free version please continue with this video how you can use that feature so first let's say if i right click on this particular element which is enter email and if i see this part this is an input tag name is one of the attribute type is one of the attribute placeholder is one of the attribute and id is one of the attribute now if i open selectors hub now, in case if you don't find selectors up here, then you might have to check from here. So for example, in case you don't have selectors hub, which is coming here, you can click on these two arrows and you will get here. So you can just drag and drop here for quick and easy to access. But in case if you're here also, that's not an issue. For example, now I want to write one quick X path. So if I write double slash input, okay. And now let's say if I use at the rate ID, so it's matching with one note, we are able to write XPath. But suppose if you're new to XPath or new to, you know, any of these locators, you might make some basic mistakes. Maybe one time you add single quotes, one time you add double quotes. And here we go. So first of all, it says invalid XPath. That's good. Second thing, it says single quote is missing, which I did purposefully, right? So now I can manually fix it or I can click on this button called fix selector. The moment you click on fix selector, it will take a couple of seconds and it will fix the locator for you. Now again, if I show you maybe this part, maybe I miss this, you know, equal to. Now again, it says check the syntax and the spelling and fix selector. The moment you click it, it will fix it automatically. So you can see you can build many good use cases with the help of chat GPT APIs. Okay. So you have to come up with the use cases, how it can help you. Don't worry about what is changing via AI. Okay. You can take the advantages and improve the productivity. And there's a perfect use case, which I found. So special thanks to Sanjay Kumar, who has introduced this new feature for community and for the pro users as well. So please give a try and let me know in the comment section, if you think any other use cases that can be used in selector serve or in any other automation tool that we are using in day to day activity. So that's all for this video. If you have any other questions, let me know in the comment section and I will see you in the next video till then. Bye bye. Take care.